On behalf of Stanford's Hepatobiliary and Pancreas Surgical Fellowship, we welcome you to Stanford University and Stanford Healthcare. We invite you to begin your training within this exciting field in our beautiful hospital that is equipped with state-of-the-art surgical and interventional procedural suites and continues to grow. The Stanford Medicine Cancer Center is ranked highly by the U.S. News and World Report and is recognized as a NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center with strengths in clinical and basic science research and delivering cutting-edge cancer treatment to patients. We really would like to train the next generation of academic HPB surgeons and give them the skills and confidence that they need to provide multidisciplinary care to their cancer patients. When it comes to HPB surgery, there's really two components. It's extremely technically challenging, so you need to make sure that you go to a place that has high volume, but the disease processes are also extremely complicated and complex. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't fall into a trap that I was going somewhere that was only teaching me one or the other. I think our goal in the HPB fellowship is really to make sure in two years that we are training um, the fellows to be not just proficient but really outstanding in the performance of the spectrum of these incredibly technically challenging operations. We have multiple tumor boards that we get to sit on and present every week so we really learn this multidisciplinary workup of these extremely complex patients and the nuance that comes with that. We collaborate with many different disciplines not only for cancer treatment like radiation oncology or medical oncology, but even within other disciplines of general surgery. We do a lot of exciting co-cases with other general surgeons, vascular surgeons, and even transplant surgeons to give the fellow a wide breadth of experience. We also work really hard to be able to train the fellow in minimally invasive strategies such as laparoscopic and robotic surgery. We do the giant open operations multivisceral resections, vascular reconstruction, but it also requires doing the most minimally invasive operations. For me, it was extremely important to go to a place that is currently embracing robotic technology, and Stanford is absolutely doing that today. There's a lot of room to improve patient care every day and how we do operations. Learning the classic techniques and the sort of tried and tested ways to do things, but at the same time, questioning those understanding which are important and are real and which are just old pedantic lore and then trying to tease that apart and then be open to and actively strive to find new ways to do things in an innovative way. Uh, I think that's part of the fabric of Stanford. We do robotic pancreatectomies, robotic gastrectomies, robotic Whipple procedures, robotic adrenalectomies, robotic Pousteau procedures or pancreatic drainage procedures, Plus, we have integration of scopes that can fit into the bile ducts and pancreatic ducts. We perform stone retrievals to side branch uh, pancreatic ducts. Again, this is just in the first few months of my, my fellowship, so I'm sure there's going to be more to come. We pair the fellow with a senior resident um, in order to let the two operate together at times. And that is a, is a key way to, to help the fellow really refine their own skills and you gotta struggle a little bit on your own with the attending out of the room for a little while in order to then um, sort that out and figure out what were the details that you'd missed the first few passes. Other goals of the fellowship would be to allow the fellow to collaborate with other disciplines to provide high quality research. Obviously to make headway and to have success in bringing those projects to completion requires ongoing work during clinical duties, but it's hard to get projects off the ground if you are just constantly um, operating 24-7 and, and working in clinical care. So we block out a little bit of time to get those projects going. There's two months of dedicated research time per year. So that's a total of four months of dedicated research where I can pursue projects, any projects that I'm interested in. We also have enough infrastructure to support the fellows in that with a research resident, uh, biostat support, to be able to ask a question, initiate the investigation and project, and then move it forward and bring it to completion. So far, I have just learned so much, and I came from a program that did a lot of HPB surgery, which is how I fell in love with it.